What's up guys, Doe here, and I'm bringing you my 25th tutorial, I think it's my 25th now, and um, this one will be over uh, a different type of colored flashing, um, I learned about it by myself, and I like it, it's not really as, it's a little more accurate, I think, than at putting on solids, but um, you can see for, see for yourself. So I'm gonna RAM preview this real quick. I'm on quarter, right? Why is this taking so long? Just a RAM preview here. And I edited the clip a little, but um, I want you to focus on the uh, flash at the end. And I didn't have any sound effects or sounds. So there's uh, kind of like the green flash right here and the downside is that you can't really pick a certain color you want it gives you RGB and then red green blue and um, what I used for it was levels and you, you can of course you can obviously I mean toggle red and you can toggle like red and blue at the same time you can get purple or something like that but um, I'll just teach you guys how to do this so I'm going to delete that adjustment layer so I'm gonna come in and see. I'm gonna take out the levels, and then we are gonna time it so that it flashes right after he shoots. So we're gonna go the frame right before he unscopes. So right here, we're gonna type up levels, and it should be under color correction. It's just the normal levels, not anything else. So drag that onto your adjustment layer, and stopwatch at the histogram. And maybe if you want to add a brightness or just add to your color correction with levels you can do that and then um, what I like to do is you go one frame forward so that it's the first frame of him being unscoped and then you're gonna need to make it brighter because here's what happens if you just add like I'll add green green's the best color in my opinion if you add green that'll only happen but if you go back to RGB and you make it brighter it kinda gives it that cool alienish look and it might look ugly right now but that's because I added a vector blur um, go to vector blur and I turn it off it's a little cleaner um, take off the CC lens now it, I think the only reason it looks ugly is because it's scrapyard it's not I mean if it was underpass and it would have a lot of greens in it it would be a lot better but this is scrapyard so yeah, um, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna, I might change it actually. I might go back to green, drag this out, and you can make it like blue instead. So if you want to make the blues pop out, I don't think it looks nearly as nice. So I'll try red. Yeah, red doesn't seem that bad. All right, I'll go red, and then maybe go a second forward, and then just drag it all back so that you have your red all the way back, you go back to your RGB and you drag that all the way back. So what it will look like is it will flash and then it will kind of, it's kind of like that opacity thing that I told you. And instead of dragging all the way back and making all those keyframes, you can just toggle the opacity for this, action, for this adjustment layer. I mean, if you want to. I prefer making keyframes. And then after it's done, if you're an organized person, you can just split the adjustment layer. And go to where it starts to split. So yeah, that's it. Um, if you, I didn't, didn't do the HUD tutorial because um, it's a weekday, so uh, like, I don't want to do advanced tutorials and stuff like that on weekdays. And what the advanced HUD tutorial will be, it'll it'll be like, kind of like this screen, like this little person right here, except it'll have like all this stuff up here and down here. It might have like a made HUD or some other added stuff and maybe some targets over here um, a lot a lot of cool stuff I learned a lot from watching Medifrags and uh, Z zombified tuts so um, yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll give you one little preview of what it did and it's a new flash that I think I'm gonna be incorporating um, I used it in my day's feeds and it looked pretty good. Um, so yeah, if you want me to teach you any of this stuff, although I think I went over everything, 
Um, I mean, there's Twitch. I did a tour on that. CC Lens. I did a tour on that. I think. I'm not sure. Vector Blur. I know I did a tour on that. I'll fix compensation. Might have. I uh, yeah, I did. Then Radio Blue was covered. In, yeah. All right. So I covered all of this, and I even covered a little bit of levels. Um. Also, quick note. Um. If you're a new subscriber, please, before you ask anything, watch all of my videos, or at least note to the title, because I'm getting, like, a bunch of personal messages saying, can you do a motion tracking tutorial? I'm like, I have two of those out. Or, can you please do a tutorial at five on this video, and it would be, like, a blur. So, um, I mean, just please watch my videos, or if you have a question over it, just watch, like, look out. And I mean, try your hardest to try to learn about it before, or like by looking at my videos before you ask me to make a tutorial on it. Because I think this is one of the editor's biggest pet peeves is to edit or make a tutorial and have someone ask them to make a tutorial on something they already did. So um, yeah, just note to that because it's kind of annoying. And yeah, so um. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, uh, also, a fun fact to know about my channel is that um, I'm starting to make 10 to 11 subscribers a day now, which is pretty cool. Um, stay active. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy the tutorial again. I um, hope I see. Hope to see you guys using it. And if you use it, I mean, post that video response, and um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely accept it. So yeah, this is me. Uh, my tutorial on flashing part two. Uh, I gotta do homework now, so um, I hope I covered everything in this tutorial. Peace out.